I got too much in my mind for me not to use my time wisely Cause in my eyes, my future always makes my eyes bleed It's too bright, use my best to see Tell me And that was NLE Chopper. Family Binks, ongoing what's? What's going on, Binks family? Welcome back to another Dreadlock video. So as you guys seen by the title, you guys know what this video is. I just basically wanted to take my box braids out because I had them in for about two weeks so far. Yeah, but a little bit over two weeks I had these in. And I ain't really feeling the box braids no more. I usually don't keep hairstyles in for a long time anyway. And plus I didn't really go outside too much with this hairstyle and it's starting to get messy. So with that being said, I might as well just take it out. So if you guys wanna see what these box braids did to my dreadlocks, then make sure you watch the whole video. I don't know why I'm so hot. It's like the summer, but it's like nine o'clock, you feel me? So it should start getting cooler. But for some odd reason, my house is hot as a mug right now. So anyway, once I take out my box braids, I'm gonna make sure I moisturize my dreadlocks because I really haven't moisturized them that much. I mean, I've moisturized my hair, just, I guess, enough to make sure I don't really get dandruff, but the moisture is not where they're supposed to be at. So I'm really interested what my hair is going to look like. I haven't did box braids for so long, so I haven't really seen what my hair would be like outside of box braids at this length, but we gonna find out today. Before we get into this video, I just wanna say I appreciate all the Binks family members, all the newcomers and everything, because we just hit 3.5 thousand subscribers, like, yesterday or the day before or something like that. We're already almost to 3,600, so, you know what I mean? The channel's going crazy, and I appreciate you. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into this braid up. So I've been having my hair up into like a little bun pretty much every single day since I had these box braids in. So I really haven't had my hair hang down too much, maybe for a couple days, but majority of the time, my hair is always up. Now the box braids don't look that bad, neither does my parts, you know what I mean? Of two weeks of just sleeping, I really didn't wear a do-rag like at all when I was sleeping with my box braids. So I'm glad that you still kind of can see the parts. But you guys know the drill, let me give you guys a quick 360 so you guys can see a before and after. Facts. So let me hurry up this video before I end up having a heat stroke in this bathroom because it's about hot as a mug and I'm about to start sweating and it's not going to be a pleasant picture for you guys to see. All right, I'm just going to take one side out at a time. So I'm just going to put this side up in a little uh, ponytail ponytail. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just take out all the rubber bands inside of my dreadlocks just so that I can pull these apart a little bit easier. Now, I'm just going to basically just go from like the end and then just start like is pulling the hair like this. It's gonna end up unraveling like that. And then it should come all the way, <laughs> it should come all the way out at the end. I used to love the feeling of just pulling box braids apart. Like, oh snap, okay, I got the curly curl. Hey, my dreadlock is a curly beard. What are you talking about? Look, like now basically box braids make your hair a little bit more crinkly than if you had two strand twists. So that's also why I like box braids a little bit. By the way, if you guys are starting off just watching this video, I actually did make a tutorial on this hairstyle. So that'll be down below in the description if y'all want to see it. All right, now I'm just going to pull this bit apart. Yes, come on. Yes, sir. Just like that. By the end of this, I'm pretty sure my dreads are going to look like some burnt ramen noodles or like some type of uh, pasta. You know what I mean? I got, I got three box braids out so far. I still got about like, what, 15 to go or something like that. I forgot how many box braids I had when I started this, but. So with that being said, I'm gonna actually do a time lapse so you guys don't have to watch me pull out every single box braid. all right guys we are back all right we got the full side of this head done and ready to go you feel me my dreads look a lot more moisturized coming out than box braids which is pretty weird i got a whole bunch of hair that done came out on my shirt i'm not gonna lie usually when i take out hairstyles a lot of like extra hair just be falling out but you guys see that you see you see how the dreads is like hanging on my shoulder yeah you know what that's called it's called hang time baby catch up no mustard. That was actually trash. I apologize. But anyway, yeah, I think this time around, I'm actually going to end up rocking the curly dreadlocks. Usually, I always just wash out my hair to the point that my dreads ain't curly no more. But now that I got this hang time, my dreads in this style is low-key looking thigh. But anyway, I'm just going to take out this side of my hair right here so you guys could just see, like, what it looked like before and then, like, what it looks like now. The box braids were cool, but low-key, the curly top, 
that's something serious. I love doing this shot right here. This, this like the quick shot right down the middle that you guys can see the two different type of hairstyles. I don't know why, but I always, I always look at the camera and just vibe with that shot, bro. Cause it's amazing. Like, you know what I mean? That is two whole different styles, bro. You know what I mean? Now with that being said, I already got my thumbnail. So the only thing else that I have to do is take out this side of my dreadlocks and I can show you guys the finished product. And if you guys are ready, then just keep watching the video. And just like that, we done, baby. One of, if not the best dreadlocker on YouTube. Like, what is you talking about? Like, what can you tell me, bro? This high top is low key fly though. Like, especially when I go get a lineup in a few days, bro, this hairstyle gonna look something serious. Especially when I put my dreads up into like a little ponytail while they're curly, then the sides are all uh, lined up and shaped up and everything like that. Summer 2020, watch your girl, simple. I'll catch that COVID knocking your girl's ankles loose. Don't get it twisted. Now anyway, at this part of the video, this is where we do the little 360 so you guys can see what the full braid out came out to look like. Now that's it. Now the only other thing that I'm gonna do is actually moisturize my dreadlocks real quick. I mean, they already look pretty like moisturized and healthy, I guess, but I'm just gonna do like a little bit of water in my dreads and a little bit of coconut oil, that's it. Nothing too crazy, cause I don't wanna oversaturate my hair cause that's gonna make the, the crinkly effect on my dreadlocks kinda come out and get a little bit looser and more straight. And I don't really want that right now. So I'm just gonna... Right, that's it, you know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. Run that through the dreadlocks, some real late, you know? Actually, I might need a little bit more water than that because my scalp didn't even get wet. All right, now last thing we finna do is just get a little bit of coconut oil. Nothing way too crazy because like I said, my dreads look like they're already moisturized. They might be playing tricks on me, but you know, they look good. So we're just gonna rub this through our hair real quick. Get it on my scalp because my scalp really hasn't been done up that well. Boom. Gonna rub it in the back. I'm just gonna kind of lift up my high top and just rub the rest of the product on the side of my hair. I'm just gonna brush that in. And that's it for the braid out. So if you guys enjoyed this video and did not do it in the beginning of the video, like I said, make sure you guys leave a like right now because if you guys got this far, you gotta like something in the video. But I'm gonna hurry up and end this off because like I said, it is hot as a mug in here and I really need to get some air because this bathroom is pretty small and like my body heat is starting to make it kind of humid in here and I need some more freaking air. So anyway, Binks family, all my social media be right here on the screen. You guys can go follow me over there. I usually am on Instagram more than anything. So if you guys wanna go see what I do on my daily life, you feel me? Then go join the Binks family over there. You know what I'm saying? Show your boy some love. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So Binks family, I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, so what's going on, y'all? Well, basically, we're just trying to hit the 10 minute mark right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how the ads got on your video, baby. Yes, sir. Little YouTube 101. I'm just letting you guys know that. You know what I mean? If you see anybody with a 10 minute video or plus, usually it's just because they're trying to get the ads running on their video. And I'm poor, so I'm doing the same thing. Um, but anyway, y'all, you know, I'm just guessing I'm just going to be talking to y'all just a little bit with what's going on with life. You know what I mean? What I expect for the summer of 2020, uh, if we're ever going to have a summer, to be honest with you. But basically, you know, I got a lot of content I want to do um, just because I know it's the summer. So a lot of lit stuff should be posted instead of the basic stuff that I usually do. So that being said, um, I have a lot of ideas myself. But if you guys have any ideas that you guys want to see me do, I don't know. I might mess around, do public interviews if, you know, this whole COVID-19 thing lifts and I could actually talk to people in the public. But I don't want to change up my content just a little bit for the summer, you feel me? Put out bangers, you know, because last year I think I did some pretty dope things like public boxing and everything like that. So I just want to get back into just doing cool things like that. Um, you know, trying to spice stuff up on the channel. But anyway, I appreciate you guys once again for hitting the 3.5 thousand Binks family members mark. You guys probably hear dogs in the background, but... You know, I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you guys for watching all the videos and everything like that. Uh, make sure you guys got the post notification bell pressed, because we got some bangers coming. Grr, lit. Y'all saying, baby. Oh, got a message.